In this 10th lesson on the pentatonic minor scale, we're going to now go over measures five, six, and seven of the first melody. You should have measures one through four down fairly well now and able to be played with a metronome to help you keep your timing correct. All right? So let's just get going with these three measures. Okay, a couple of things I want you to bear in mind here when you're looking at this. These three measures, take a look at them. They look very similar, and in a lot of ways they are almost identical. There's just a couple of things different in each measure, but the essence of each measure is conveying a very thematic idea. The other thing I want you to notice is between the staff, the music, the notation staff, and the uh, tablature staff, you'll see the word extended. We were in primary in the first four measures, and then at the end of the, uh, the fourth measure, we shifted up to extended, which is where we are going to play these three measures, this position. And you'll notice one finger, one fret, so we're going to be using your second and fourth finger a lot on six and eight between the first and second string. This helps to strengthen your second and fourth finger usage because instead of just using one and three all the time, using two and four together is a very good thing, especially when you're playing positional licks like this one. Okay, so let's just go for it here. We're going to be starting at the seventh fret of the third string and you're going to be going to the 6th fret of the 2nd string. So you're starting 7th fret of the 3rd string, and the 2nd fret of the, uh, excuse me, the 6th the fret of the 2nd string with your 2nd finger, and then your 4th finger at 8 on the 2nd string for 2 beats. And then you're back to the 5th fret of the 3rd string with your 1st finger and then the seventh fret with your third finger of the third string. Okay? So, here's what that would sound like. Three, and, four, and. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. Okay? Got it? Pretty easy. Now, you can pause at this point and play through that. Uh, or keep going. We're just going to briefly touch on these because they all really are very similar. So, the second measure here, the middle measure, measure six, starts on the sixth fret of the second string with your second finger, and the eighth fret of the second string with your fourth finger. And then back to the fifth fret of the third string with your first finger, and the seventh fret of the same string with your third finger. You can hear how this is cycling, right? So this measure goes three and four and one and two and three and four and. Sounds a lot like the first measure. Exactly right. Very much like the first measure. The third measure here, measure seven, starts out just like measure six. Sixth fret, second string, second finger. And then fourth finger on eight on the second string. Now we're going to move to the sixth fret of the first string with the second finger. And then back to the eighth fret of the second string with the fourth finger. So this third measure, seven, number seven, goes three and four and one and So you hear a thematic idea going on with these three measures, right? So let's play through all three measures. I know I'm going fairly quickly here. It's not difficult. You'll get this down very quickly. All right, starting here at the seventh fret, third string. Three and four and one.
Let's do that one more time. Three, and four, and one. <laughs> So, go ahead and pause the video, rewind if you want, as much as you want, to go back to the explanation of each measure, or just to this demonstration of all three measures. It's up to you how you want to approach this. But the fingering is very straightforward, all right? And pause the video, play through this, put it to a metronome once you're smooth and flowing, more or less, right? To help you finish getting it to the correct smooth and flowing in time. Then, when you're ready to continue, we'll, uh, we'll keep going. So press play and we'll go. All right, I'm gonna play through the first seven measures of the melody. All right, here we go. Three and four and one and two and three and four. the video, rewind if you want to listen to the playbacks, and then pause the video, play through this yourself. Now we didn't put it up on screen because you've got the written material, so look at the written material as it, you listen to the playthrough and kind of get a sense, okay, this is where everything belongs, this is what it's supposed to sound like, and then play through it yourself, either with the uh, video, if you can play at the tempo we're at, or pausing the video, you simply play through it at the tempo you can manage it, put it to a metronome to solidify that tempo that you're playing at. And then when you're ready to continue, press play and we'll wrap it up. All right, these three measures were pretty easy because of the cycling nature of them, the thematic element being expressed here. Okay, so practice this, practice all seven measures to a metronome and get them nice and fluid, right? You wanna really solidify that fluid thing and get your technique, your fingering down right and your picking, get that all correct and you'll, you'll get it down sooner than you think you will, just by very deliberate and focused attention to the details. Even though it's not fast, that's not important. It's smooth and flowing that matters. Speed will come with time, all right? So, when you're ready to move to the next lesson, we'll be waiting for you. See you then. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down there in the lower right-hand corner or below the video, there's the big red subscribe button. And next to it's a gray uh, notification bell. 
press that, and you'll be notified when we have new content up here at Outsmart Your Guitar. Down below also in the description area, you'll see a link where you can go and download the written material for this lesson as well. And below that, you'll see another link that will take you over to Outsmart Your Guitar on Patreon. Go on over, check that out. There's content there that's not available here. And subscribe at one of the two levels and become a patron. All right. Remember, here at Outsmart Your Guitar, we are dedicated to helping you learn, play, and grow to become the guitar player you desire to be, to play the music you want to play, even write your own music. All right. Thanks for your time. See you soon.